Well, I just pulled on my wire. <laughs> Hello! So I felt bad that people thought the entire point of the index video that I did uh, was me hating on it, which is, is not the case, okay? Dude, like, it, the index is good. I have loved every second of my index, okay? It, it's a great headset. I recommend it, okay? It was not the point of that video. The whole, the whole point of that video was to just describe uh, all the pain <laughs> that I went through, uh, getting it, it arriving broken, uh, and then having to deal with valve support for two weeks. Okay, that was that was the point. Okay, after after they fixed everything, dude, this this headset's great. I I highly recommend it. Okay, honestly though, you're you're probably curious how the headset has held up over the past what? It's been like uh, almost two years at this point. And uh, honestly. It, it's falling apart a little bit, just, just itty bitty, itty bitty little amount. But that, that is because I have put like 2,000 hours on this, on this poor little guy, okay? This, this little thing is, it's trying its best. It is held on together with duct tape and glue, not really. It's been through a lot of abuse. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus! So here's everything that has happened to my index in the two years that, well, almost two years, um, that I have owned it. So I've had to replace a few items on it, um, and valve support was, ac was actually really good about this, okay? So I needed to replace, uh, my right hand controller because I threw it, uh, I think on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I just, woo, I just chucked that thing. It, it, aiming for my bed, and I kind of, I miss, but not really. It hit my bed, bounced off, hit the ground, and the housing cracked open, okay? So the little top area of the headset kind of, like, split from the base. Uh, and th that wasn't good. <laughs> I, I wanted them to replace it before, you know, anything else happened to it. And they were really good about it. They, they did replace it. It was technically out of warranty, but th they still replaced it as a one-time customer service gesture. You're gonna hear that again. They, there was no advanced replacement this time, though. I had to send the controller in. Uh, and they went ahead and sent me a new one after they received it. Moments after that, okay. Like, not just a few months after that, the wire t crapped out. Okay, I started getting the like the little snowflake thing that would appear like all over the screen, like you know, random pixels would turn white just for a few seconds, uh, and return return back to normal. Okay, it kind of looked like it was like snowing on the screen, it was like woo, just, just it fuzz everywhere. The headphones would like crackle as well, it was it, very annoying. They would like pop and it, it was like ear piercing, okay? It's like when your ears pop on an airplane, but like very, very small and just constantly, just all the time, just r r random, constant, wh whatever, I don't know. It was very annoying and soon it just wouldn't even connect to my PC anymore, okay? But granted, I have stepped on that wire a fair bit of time. So of course I contacted Steam support and as a one-time one -time customer, customer service, service gesture, <laughs> they <laughs> they replaced it. Uh, even though this is technically the second customer service gesture that they have given me. This was like a year out of warranty too, okay? It was, it was like a year past and they're like, yeah, sure, we'll send you a new wire. You don't even need to send the old one. We'll just send this thing to you. I did have to buy three more face gaskets and that is because Beat Saber, a sweaty game, Face gaskets right on your face, they they get dirty and just, you know, wear down, not comfortable, not hygienic, you need to replace them or clean them to the best of your ability, but you can, you can only clean them so much. So I had to replace them, it's only like $40 for two of them. Whatever, no big issue, it's not uh, like something broke and I needed to replace it in order to use the headset, it's more of just a hygienic thing. So now onto the stuff that I just can't fix. It's I'm just kind of stuck with it for right now until I don't know something happens. The current wire I have is already dying. I noticed it on stream. Uh, I'm starting to get the little little snowflakes appearing just all over the place. Very upsetting. It's like $175. I doubt they're gonna like give me another one-time one -time customer, customer service, service gesture. gesture. Okay. So I'm 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 kind of uh, out of luck on that one. 
I, I need to cough up the money in order to get a new one. I haven't even contacted Steam support, but I'm not even going to try. <laughs> they've, they've done so much for me already. On the topic of the wire issue, I did have a dead pixel that appeared on my left eye. It, it was it, very weird. It kind of looked like a burn mark. Like, you know, they say don't leave your headset out in the sun because the sun will hit the lenses like the, the sun, the rays, the god rays peeking in through your window will hit the lenses um, and just angle it. Just right, it will just angle it right onto the LCD panel and just like burn it. Okay, it will like cause a little like burn mark, destroy those pixels, gone, dead, can't do anything about it. That's what it looked like what happened to, to mine. The top right of the left lens had a little burn mark. Like, the pixels weren't dead or anything. A dead pixel. They were discolored and, like, semi-dark, but not. It, it, it looked like it burnt, okay? See that, see that little dot? See a little dot that's moving above the door? Yeah, that's a dead pixel. My index is a dead pixel. Oh, no! But, like somehow they have just vanished there it's it's no longer there so i i'm just the wire issue like i said this wire is going out i need to get a new one i'm it, it's acting extremely weird and i can do nothing about it the index has a, a frunk okay a front trunk it's a frunk uh and it has a little usb port my usb port there will no longer stay connected consistently okay it works it, it will transfer data but it won't stay consistently. I, you know, okay, so I have the Tundra trackers, but I have the Tundra trackers, um, and it only needs one dongle. So I will plug that dongle into the frunk, uh, and just use that, because it frees up space, all that jazz. It used to work amazingly, now it doesn't. Now, my trackers will disconnect every, oh god, I don't know, every, like, minute? I move just a little too fast uh it just panics and will just disconnect the usb front thingy <laughs> the usb frunk usb thingy in frunk yes uh disconnect that thing um and just won't it's, it's, it just it's it's not really viable especially for beat saber when i'm moving around so much or or vr chat where i'm just oh god i don't know i do i do the weirdest stuff in vr chat okay just don't don't look into it it just it's it's not viable it's not fun um and there's nothing i can really do about that as well it's just it's an issue i deal with and now i just don't plug anything in there i just have my dongle plugged into my computer uh and that, that i just call it a day so i have this random like lens goo okay it's like seeping down from the top of like the rubber little thingy on uh, on the lenses and it's just oozing down like it's melting I, it's some type of adhesive don't know what it is and it's been happening for like the longest time now i need to constantly clean off my lenses uh with a microfiber cloth make sure always clean them with microfiber cloth don't you don't want to scratch the lenses that's that's the one thing i've used this index for so long now okay and i have not scratched knock on wood wherever it is dunk dunk um, I have not scratched the lenses at all. Okay. Perfectly good. The only thing that gets on them is that random goo. It's like, it's weird. There's this like weird plastic piece as well. I don't, I don't know what any of this is. I don't know what the purpose of it. Maybe it just holds on that little rubber thing. But like at this point, it's like, why? And I don't want to remove it because I don't want to break anything. So just whatever. Uh, it's stuck like that and I'll just accept it. Now my controllers, okay, even, even like the one that Valve replaced, right hand guy right here, um, they're struggling, they're, uh, a lot of cosmetic damages, okay, the paint is starting to come off on them, it, like, especially right around the little edges, uh, uh, where I used to rest my thumb while playing Beat Saber, okay, it, it worn off the black like you know nice paint whatever and revealed like a metallic underneath and then after a certain amount of time it it, it, it like turned black again not not like it, you could definitely tell the paint's gone it's completely worn off but it still looks dark it's darker than it was before i don't know how that happened i don't know what i've did. like i don't know what is smearing on it i don't know if that's the the paint from like the other parts that still had paint just kind of like oozing over 
uh, but it's it's a thing. And the paint is also starting to rub off on just other parts of the controllers, like on the bands, the, ve the very top has some paint coming off. I can like gently take my finger and just go like and just scratch it. Uh, just uh, apply like no pressure and it will just come off. All right, they it is there. It's just wearing away. The tracking on my right hand controller is really wacky now as well. Loses tracking quite often for absolutely no reason. It doesn't like vibrates at all, like in the slightest, okay? If it vibrates as I'm trying to use it, it'll start like wiggling everywhere. It, it, just look, look, look at this, okay? Watch this Beat Saber replay that just has a note spam. Shout out to Beat Sage. It just starts twitching around all over the place with just any any vibration. It just it hates it. The gyroscopes or just something inside of it is really messed up for one reason or another. It could be the amount of times that I have indeed dropped it, uh, or they have hand clapped together. But I mean, who knows? The the plastic like protective covering or something, some type of covering on the the hand sensor, like the finger sensor on my left controller is just ripping apart okay it started off like really really small and it's grown it's it's increasing in size almost every week it's just ever so slightly bigger it, luckily it doesn't affect tracking at all so if you're scared about the the freaking pad scratching or it just wearing away it still like still works perfectly fine i can uh, control every finger just as i please so you don't need to worry about that you're good so that's just a quick list of everything that has happened uh, to my index since I've had it. If I use my index uh, almost every single day, it's been on for more than 2,000 hours, okay? And it's still functioning. All these issues that I'm having, you'll probably never experience. Or if you do, it'll be like four, five years down the line, okay? A lot of it Valve did fix and replace. Really good. Um, a lot of it was user error. It was me being dumb and doing things I shouldn't have. And they were still like, yo, totally, we will fix this just for you, bro. I got, we, oh, we got you. And I was uh, d deeply grateful because I am broke. I cannot afford to replace any of this. <laughs> I'm kind of screwed if stuff breaks. So in the past, it really just seems like I got a bad unit um, on arrival. And there is, you know... Not much, not much I could do about that. It was basically just, just the luck, just the unlucky me, just paying a lot of money for a headset and it arrives broken. They fixed it. Good on them. Congrats. If you have the money for the index, 100% go for it. It is, it's worth it. I love it so much. I'll continue to recommend this headset until Valve makes whatever headset they're making next. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I don't know how long this is going to be, but I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how things go. I'm recording this at 1.32 in the morning. Feels great. <laughs> I had a monster before recording, so I can be like, yeah, let's go. So if you made it this far, I will shamelessly plug my Twitch. Uh, I stream three days a week if you want to, you know, pop in. That's every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. But yes, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, no idea how to end this. So, peace, I guess. I have no idea. Uh, how do people end videos?